But the last thing is, y'all, I forgot the last thing. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. I am the president and founder of Southern Elevation Consulting, where I help you elevate your public speaking skills and persuasive speech when you communicate in everyday life. So I wanted to do this video to talk about femininity because I feel like a lot of people are talking about really embracing your feminine energy. And I wanted to talk about femininity and your softness, your inner softness, and how you can use that and utilize that when you're in a masculine dominated field. But there are different things that you can do to gain respect, but not lose your femininity. And I wanted to talk about those today. So if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. A lot of what I do in public speaking and with my students is talk to them about what their values are, what their moral base is, and what they want to present themselves out to the world as. So, for example, if you are someone who is soft, submissive, but um, independent, then there are certain things that you can do to present this way. And if you want to be effective in your job, whether you're in a boardroom giving a meeting or whether you're in front of a jury, there are different things that you can do. And so I want to just kind of jump into what those things look like in this video. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is to slow down. So this is helpful to masculine and feminine energy. And it's helpful to men and women when they are out and about in the world. If you slow down, you give the appearance of demanding time and demanding respect and attention while you're talking. So if you talk really fast and try to speed up, it makes it seem like you don't feel that you have enough time. And it can come off as if you need to hurry up because there's something else that's more important that people need to get to. So if you are presenting yourself as not feeling as important, then why should other people perceive you as having something important to say, right? So slow down. The second thing, although you have to wear suits and be very stiff in court, there are certain gestures and mannerisms that you can do that will help you still present as feminine. So keep your posture. Yes, you can wear a suit, but wear a pink blouse, wear jewelry, wear different things that make you feel better. If you want to get your nails done, which I have opted to do, that's not something that I think is mandatory, getting your nails done professionally in a certain way, like extensions, but, you know, painting your nails before a certain event, just looking polished and put together are different ways in which you can present yourself in a feminine way, but still gain respect and to be soft in those ways. Another way, and this is probably going to be the last kind of example that I give because it's honestly a lot of information that you can work on and it's a constant activity that you need to work on. So I don't want you to be overwhelmed or bombarded with the information. But the last thing is, child, I forgot the last thing. So the last tip I have for you is thinking about your tone. It's important to think about your tone when you are talking to different people because you may have a tendency because you're in a work environment, things are a little stressful, you may feel the desire to be aggressive and use aggressive hand motions to make sure that your point gets across. But doing those things kind of deplete your energy and take away from other abilities that help you excel at your job. So if you're good at intuition, it kind of drains your inner energy from being able to do that. If you're good at empathy, it drains your energy from helping you do that. All of these things are super important in making sure that you present in the best way possible, right? So hopefully these tips are helpful for you guys. Hopefully you are noticing different things about me as you watch my videos and as I talk about my femininity journey. But I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I think it's super important. You can still be respected and assert yourself, but maintain some femininity about yourself like I'm wearing very delicate earrings a necklace and I'm wearing florals today as you guys can see so 
I'll probably insert a picture for you guys. But doing little things like that. A pink headband, but still having your hair pulled back and conservative or demure or classic so that you are presenting as professional, but still not having to be cookie cutter masculine. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. But that's really all I have to share in this video for you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy going on your own feminine journey. And, you know, leave some comments down below of some of the things that you have to do at your job or that you're noticing that you want to work around. And I'll try to do other videos that kind of explain tips and tricks to get around having to do things a certain way because as my grandma says there is more than one way to skin a cat so i hope you guys enjoy this video hope you're doing well and i will see you on my next one bye